Warning! The following video contains despairful spoilers for Danganronpa V3. Enjoy! So, after Kyo's execution, um, <laughs> it's funny because, you know, Todd Habercorn voices Kyo, and then he voiced, um, Teru Teru and Danganronpa 2, and both of them ended up killing people. That's kind of interesting when you think about it, and kind of, well, they weren't that similar, but, the uh, eh, whatever. Anyway, wh what? How gory! No! Monodon! Why? <laughs> what she said. How what? can this be? What? what the? To think my cute child would commit suicide! Yay! Ah, so it's so cute! It's so freaking cute that he would kill himself because he couldn't get along! <laughs> Monodon committed suicide! Had I known this would happen, I would have been nicer to him. The only reason Monodon obsessed over getting along was because everyone but me bullied him. That's right! Yes, the other Monocubs trolled him to suicide, but not me! Hey. Hey, uh... Who's Monodon? Eh? Huh? You already forgot? That's kind of scary. Well, now. Well, looks like another class trial has wrapped up without incident, so... I'm gonna take back this here in Mecha Novicon. Seems like a waste, though. You guys sure you don't want to use it? <laughs> you guys should have brought someone back to life and added them to your roster. Sh shut up! No. How long are you gonna keep talking about that? I told you. Ignore him. The whole resurrection ritual is obviously a lie. He's just trying to shake us mentally to get us to panic. What's the point? I'm assuming you'll think another murder will happen if you do that, right? Who <laughs> can say? Hmm. What a waste of it. If none of you were gonna use it, you should've let me have it. Then I could've resurrected one of my dead siblings. Um... Which one? Eh? Well, I don't know. They were all pretty terrible, actually. Hmm. Wait, did one of us die? I could've sworn it's been just the two of us this whole time. Too bad he missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Uh huh. So long. Farewell. Okay. Uh um. Even now, he still talks about raising the dead. Always messing around. Man, this is stupid. What people believe in is up to them, but living people shouldn't have to suffer because of the dead. Of course! The living are more precious than the dead, no matter what. <sighs> That's not something a coward like you should say. <laughs> Ch shut up. Leave me alone. But, but there's one thing that this case has taught me. I thought there was a god watching over us, but... <laughs> there isn't, after all. Not in this academy. Mm. Yeah, you right. You're right. Well, that's why we have to work together, right? Face it together. Our ultimate talents are, are the best weapons we have. Go to his best. Then go to do his best to keep everyone safe. Go to want to protect everyone. Um. Uh, I swear, I have to sometimes always wait just a little while for this stupid lag that always happens to go away. It's it, oh, it's so annoying. Anyway, uh, it's it's because of my internet. The way I record these videos, um, it's because of my internet, and sometimes it. Uh, but anyway. But your talent is entomo entomology. <sighs> I don't want Shuichi to use his ultimate talent anymore. I'm getting sick of class trials. You're right. Oh, uh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> hey, your talent as an assassin is way more trouble. When are you going to use that, huh? Okay. I'll work hard until everyone trusts my ultimate talent. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. It may not be possible now, but I'll put the effort in... Uh, put the effort... I'll put in the effort so everyone can trust me. I... I won't want to run, run away anymore. I want to survive and escape this place with everyone. Maki. <laughs> I see. I wonder how long that'll last. What if your true calling as a killer shows? Huh. Don't underestimate her. Maki Roll is one of my sidekicks. Got a minute? I don't remember being your sidekick. Also, didn't I tell you to stop calling me Maki Roll? Oh, you guys are so close now. This must be the powerful bond of friendship. But I would have preferred it to happen sooner, especially not after losing seven people. <laughs> you, you right. Only nine people left now. 
Well, what do you know? The dumbass can do basic math. That's right, seven pieces of shit have been flushed away and only nine remain. Actually, by that calculation, doesn't that make you one of the pieces? But just nine of us. Well, you know. Humans are like weeds. Two, no, two numbers to count. Seven of us dead doesn't mean much in the end. That's totally what the heartless robot is thinking, right? Right? Oh, no, I am not thinking that. Your blatant robophobia is simply inexcusable. But you know. But hey, none of us gave up, right? I know we're all gonna escape. I'm not gonna rely on God, spirits, or the dead. I believe in you. Just you guys. I believe in all of you. Okay, Kaito. Well, of course. You're right. Those of us who remain can start over. Hold up, Keyboy needs to apologize every to everyone for the whole student council thing. Hmm. And there's only one kind of apology that I'm willing to accept. How exciting! Yank your head off and smash it into the ground with all your strength. Got that? Uh, how about he doesn't do that? No way! I've never heard of such an intense form of apology. It seems like everything is settled for now. Even though we're missing her. You all right? Himiko, you okay? Anything Gonta can do to help? You can tell Gonta. Hey! I think we should let her have some space for now. That might be best for her. Okay. I remember how I felt. Oh. Oh, Gonta understand. You're so dumb. God, Himiko is such a liar. Huh? Because I'm a liar. Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Let's face it, you wouldn't have any free will uh, if the world was compromised with just the truth. But... But even then, I don't think it's good to lie to yourself, you know. Right? What are you saying? Think about Himiko's feelings a little bit. Nuh-uh. I only said this because I thought about it. Because? Himiko has been lying to herself about her own feelings, so she's been holding back. Hey! Hey, what are you repressing? Why are you trying so hard to hold back? What? Hold back. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. Yeah. No. Someone give her a hug. Tenko. Uh, gosh, I'm getting back her voice. How did I do her voice? Tenko, Anji, I'm so lonely. <laughs> I'm so lonely without you too. But I gotta survive. I still can't go where you are. But I'm lonely. I'm so lonely without the both of you. <laughs> Himiko. Damn it. <laughs> Ugh. Himiko cried for a long time. She cried as she was releasing all the emotions she had bottled up inside. But before we knew it, as if lured by her doing so, we began crying. Aww. It's gonna make me cry. The tears we shed, I can't even describe it. We were crying about what we had been through, and what was to come. Sadness, hatred, frustration, discord, anger, love, tears filled with emotion. But at the very least, they weren't tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. Huh. Gonna make me cry. <laughs> After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However. Aww. Is she hard to carry, Gonta? That's adorable. No, she farted. She's sleeping very peacefully. <laughs> so cute. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel source. <laughs> but wow, that really surprised me. She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, but she looks so peaceful sleeping like that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This, oh. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Yeah, 
I hope so. Then go and tell Carrie Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? Mew, it's not the time for that, please, my god. You'll need that focus if you want to feel her little mosquito bites poking ya! Oh, Mew, 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 why? There's no way he'd do such a thing. Gota is a gentleman after all. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. While we were heading back to the dorms, I suddenly noticed. Kaito had stopped in his tracks. Kaito, are you okay? Hmm. Kaito, what's wrong? Hmm? hmm? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to get some night air. Don't worry about me. Go he on ahead. Huh? Ah, are you sure? Well... Anyway, don't do something like this again, okay? If you dislike scary things, then you should have said so earlier. I thought you were sick. Huh. You were worried about me? <sighs> yeah, worried about your stupidity. <laughs> yep, definitely a tsundere. Ha! Still haven't warmed up to me, huh? But... Maybe not, but I feel like the walls we had, uh, had up are coming down a little, you know? Perhaps those walls were her enemies. It seems like she doesn't want to wait anymore. Got it. Yeah, cause of me. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe. But you sound like you're bragging, Kaito. Huh. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna get some air before I go back. You can go on ahead. Okay. Sure. Got it. See you tomorrow. Got it. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Okay. After our goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaito. <laughs> oh, is he okay? Oh. Damn it! What? What's wrong with him? Are you okay? God. I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone into space yet. What? Damn it! No way am I gonna die here. Does he have like some illness? No way. Uh oh. He has some type of illness. That's not good. That's really not good. Huh. That's. Mm, I'm worried. <laughs> mm, Kaito, bro, come on. No. Kaito can't die. Dang it. Uh, mysterious mask. Okay. Uh, Kaito can't die. I refuse to let my bro die. Or Shuichi's bro die. Whatever. Okay. Oh boy. A few days ago. Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? <gasps> oh, is that Rontaro? Wow! I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. What? Guess I should start from the beginning. Oh wait, so is this like... Hmm. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case... What is happening? This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Now, the important part of that rule is that... Oh, there is uh, I... one more thing. They're cutting out the important stuff here. What is what is going on? Well, the truth is, this isn't your first. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. Okay, so is this Runter's not for? Okay. So watch your back. Trust no one, and never forget. Never forget what? You wanted this killing game, so you have to win, no matter what. What? No matter what. Eh? Eh? Nani? Nande? Okay, chapter four. Live and let the languid world live. Daily life. What was that about? That was really weird. That was really weird. What the freak? The morning after the third class trial. After waking up from Monokuma's announcement, I headed to the dining hall as always. Oh wow, now it's really clean. Hello, cleanness. Uh, um, Good morning, everyone. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, but I can't get over what the heck uh, that video of Rontaro was going on. What the heck? Heck. 
Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, good morning. <sighs> good morning. <sighs> There's a dark moon in the air of the dining hall today. Uh, what's happening? No. Well, of course. That's to be expected with what we've been through. In a situation like this. Yeah, hello. I don't see how we could all possibly stay enthusiastic. Eh. Well, the two exceptions. Yo! What's wrong, bro? You not you're not gonna eat? <laughs> if you don't eat, then Gonto will eat you instead, Chuichi. Huh? Uh, he'll eat me. Don't you mean my breakfast? You know Speaking of Gonto, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Hmm. He's not here yet? Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. Ah! Muse. Okay. Hmm. The atmosphere is heavy. Everyone's really taking a mental beating. Hey! Hey, you guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all still teenagers. Huh? <laughs> Kimiko. Okay. Your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're so quiet that you feel down. Uh, hey! I didn't mean you should sigh louder. Weirdo. Weird. I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Hmm. Of course, I'm depressed. This is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. What is this? Two million years? But... But being depressed won't help those who died. Rest in peace. Tenko and Anji too. If I say depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay. Yep. So in order to make their deaths have meaning, I've decided to live my life with positivity. So, so anyway, please t take care of the new me. Come on, man. You're out of breath already. You're going to you're going full speed right out of the gate. Yeah, but it's just like Himiko said. Those of us left need to look to the future and live for all the other sakes. Right. Yeah, let's cheer up and work hard. This game is just getting started. Huh? Game. Oh? Huh? Isn't that what we were talking about? Ugh. Now, but now that there's less people, I might be the next victim. Wow. So exciting, but I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> well, I guess the same, that's the same for everyone else. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Always we're still around. saying crap like that at a time like, just then, the door to the dining hall burst open and... Go to this big problem! Uh-oh. Everyone, this serious! No. Oh no, the colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall, isn't she? Okay, I guess Kokichi must really like Attack on Titan, because he's that's the second time he's referenced Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe not that serious, but Gonto went to courtyard before coming here. Could it be the graffiti was more added to it? Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Oh boy. I'd like to see this. Not many. Huh? I'm not sure what it's trying to spell. The swords? Or maybe this world? Hmm. Wait, wh what about the world? What does it mean? Is there some crazy story going on? Huh, I don't know. Hmm. It's probably just graffiti, right? We should ignore it. No. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Do you want to die? Why? What, what she said. Huh? What? Alright, oh, it's just a habit of hers. My heart skips a beat every time. Because? No one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. it. Must have some meaning. You know... So, seriously, none of us here wrote it? If this is a prank, you better speak up. But... But Gota stumbled onto the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then they would have done it in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Oh, I see. It's like that titty no one wants to fondle. Ah. Well, it can just be Gonta writing it, since he was the first one to find. Gonta never do that? Gonta never make trouble for everyone? It's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? Huh. More and more gets added. Who's doing it? What does it mean? Oh. 
Well, I don't really get it, but maybe it's some kind of clue. Well done. Thanks for the report, Gonta. Hmm. Gonta's just glad to help. Oh yeah. Gonta wants to help, even little. Tell Gonta if he needs help with something, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want to, you to punch someone. Wait. No, you don't get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Y yeah. Gonta learned lesson after insect meet and greet. Man. Tch, boring. Uh, hello. Hmm? Oh ho! My ears are burning. Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me. Yay! Are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate really hard? Actually, your face—it's the same as always. It's the same. It's always the same, isn't it? Yeah. Never yeah. mind that. You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Right? You guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so I brought a prize! Prize and show sure, your sign! Okay. Prize and show sure, your sign! What she said. Huh? What's an earth sign? Hmm. Oh my, forgetting your catchphrase is like the kiss of death for a for mascot, you know? <laughs> Cause I'm a mascot, get it? Not that. that wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no punchline, no nothing. Hmm? By the way, who's this pink stuffed pig and why is she talking to me? Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Uh. Monotaro's head is busted. One solid rock should make him remember. Okay. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, where am I? Where's Kaoru? Kaoru. But your character's completely different now. Pops, my family, and you, thank you for loving me! Okay. Come on! Remember already! Okay. That's weird. They're so freaking cute! <laughs> ah, they're so adorably fascinating, I could watch them forever! No, I've had about enough of them. Hey, give us some love too! I want my re reward already! Um, you really get so friendly with Monokuma, Kalichi, Kukuchi. Now then! Okay, okay, the prize this time is... Right now. Ta-da! The legendary Levy Stone, the priceless Octo Brush, and... And? A card key! Which just so happens to be the motive too! A motive? Motive. Hey! Did you say motive? Yeah! Yep! This mysterious card key is your next motive! Oh, no. The classic carrot and stick approach! No one can work a can work a carrot or stick like daddy! Aww. Screw your carrot and your stick! Give me whips and chains all the way! You know A card key is the motive? What does that even mean? Hmm. So the new area you can open uh, open with a card key? Is that where the real motive is? <laughs> That's a secret! Why don't you use it if, you, if you're so curious? Please wait! No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening... <laughs> Yoink! I'll take that card key then! Oh dear. Kokichi used his little body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. No can do but, that! But that Monokuma's motive! What if another murder happened? I wouldn't mind that at all, at all, you know. Huh? What? Because? Because this is the killing game and we're the players, plain and simple. Why, excuse me, why wouldn't the players play the game? Don't screw around. Quit screwing around, give it to us. No way. No thanks, see ya. That's enough. What? Hey, wait up. Kokichi ran out of the dining hall and pursued by Kaito. Unbelievable. <laughs> Running in the halls is normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys. Yeah. Also, yeah. I forgot to mention this, but I've hidden another flash about light somewhere. <laughs> I wonder what memories, to it. what memories you'll uncover next. Happy hunting! Uh huh. So long. Farewell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
they, they didn't disappear. <laughs> I thought, like, the game froze or something. Huh? What's so long very well mean? <laughs> you forgot that too? Come on, let's go. So long, farewell. Okay, now they disappeared. <laughs> Wait, what, what should we do? Kukichi and Kaito are gone. I'm worried. We cannot leave Kukichi alone with that car key motive. But, but, are you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kukichi as well. Well, that's a good idea. But let us look for Kukichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now, we need your skills as a detective, Shuichi. Then, right. In that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah, yeah. Shuichi's grown up. He's become so reliable. Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Actually, oh, I see. So Shuichi gets that honor. Mm. Shuichi is so amazing. Goto want to be useful to everyone too. It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. <laughs> oh jeez. Mm. Okay. Goto hope time comes soon. No, no. You should hope that doesn't that it doesn't come. Okay. Where to begin? I'll search for a place to use these mysterious items. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was something. All right. So. Okay. We have two mysterious. I think one of them is gonna go to that building. Let's see. Let's. Uh, oh, also I wanna read uh, Kyo's um, thing. Let's see what's it. Prove that you cleared chapter three. A memento of Kori Kyo. It covers the mouth and neck to hide from them uh, from view. Okay. So we have our exclamation points. Where? Because usually that's. Or do I really just have to find it? Oh, it's gonna be there on the fourth floor and in the courtyard. So let's go to the fourth floor. So let's do that. To the fourth floor, which is that way. So yeah, that was um, something all right. Um, got a paintbrush looking thing and a stone looking thing and then Kokichi has the card, which I have this sneaking suspicion of where that card actually goes. Also, wow, there's no plant life anymore in this building. None at all. How interesting. But, um, I think I know where that card key is gonna go. <gasps> yeah, it could because. That may yeah, I think I know. I think I know where that card key is gonna end up going, but I could be wrong. Oh, well, yeah, because that would make a lot of sense considering. Well, okay, I have two possibilities actually now that I think about it of where that card key is gonna go. Hmm. Alright, so sh it's on this floor. Apparently. Not sure where though. Um, let me look at the map again. It it's down the hallway. Okay. Oh, it could go oh wait, wrong way. Oh, I think I know. It's gonna go in like one of the uh things here. Right? No? This thing? I don't oh yep, yep, yep. We're gonna like I guess. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, stairs. Stairs. There's another floor. How interesting. A staircase. Seems you can go upstairs from here. Hmm. The fifth floor, huh? How many floors does this school have? <laughs> I don't know. It could have ten thousands. Tens of thousands. Hello. Oh, okay. This is something, alright. Um... It's like a church? Monokuma has angelish wings and then he's got... Okay, Samugi, what the heck do you make of this place? Hey, this is... this has a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? Huh? The door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be... Could it be what? What door? What door do you speak of? What door? Talking about these doors? No? Um... Oh, that door. Um, uh, oh, this would be her lab. This looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. I was very thrown off by the uh, <laughs> the uh, underwear there. Whoa, mm. this is cool. Oh, this is so cool, actually. This is amazing. It's like an event venue. That must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. Oh, it changes. Oh, that's cool. 
Oh, that's so cool. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, gosh, this is so cool. Oh, I can't look at these outfits. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that little thing there. Oh, I love this. Okay, bar set. Let's look at that. This looks like a bar. Is this a set too? Yeah. Well, what do you know? It's just like the real thing. Samugi spoke cheer cheerily and sat down at the table in front of the counter. Hey! Hey, Shuichi! Are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you'd like. Huh? S signature cocktail? Yeah. Yeah. It seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. <laughs> I used to make them a lot in my part-time job. Don't worry. It'll be non-alcoholic, of course. Then... Ah, okay. I'll take one. Would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Huh? Uh, sure. Wow, you're good at this, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. Okay. I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. <laughs> what? What is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. It's ready. Thank you. What kind of part-time job did she have anyway? Mixing drinks like this. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's blushing. Those thoughts swirling around my head, I drank the drinks and Moogie handed to me. Shuichi! Please come again. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. That happened. Uh, let's look at the filming set here. This is another set of photo shoots. It has quite the gothic feel. Alright. Um, okay, let's look at the uh, workshop. A sewing machine and a work table. Perhaps a spare to make and repair costumes? Okay. What about a giant studio set? This is a set for photo shoots, huh? There are a bunch of backdrops here. This is an incredible setup. Uh, Mikoto, Miko wanted. What? Priestess one? Okay. I guess that's part of it. One more. Okay. I guess we have to talk to her. Um, even with all these materials and tools, if it's just by, my, if it's just by myself. Hmm. I see. Cosplay is fun to do with others, right? Yeah. There's no point in doing it by myself. Hey, Shuichi, do you want to give it a try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Huh? M me? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person and feel like you're a part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? But, uh, but I'm investigating right now. Oh, right. But let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or a game. You can't! Well, oh. However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. That, uh, that happened. Yeah. Okay. Can we actually come back and, like, cosplay? I'm kind of curious about that. Um, hold on. Uh, I guess it won't let me. Oh, gosh. What the heck's down this hallway? Uh... Nothing. Just, uh... Somebody down here though. Oh, Maki. What's that? Oh, <gasps> is this Shuichi's lab? Oh my gosh, oh, that's Shuichi's lab. Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Hmm. Yeah. This place makes you feel like there is no god, but then there's this. Is that coincidence or just Monokuma's sense of humor? Oh, I hope that Shuichi's lab. Uh, this isn't a door, right? Yet. Oh, that is a door. How interesting. Um, first, I'm gonna save though. And saving is quite important. Okay, after saving, let's find out what this is. This is like an ultimate lab, but whose lab is it? All right. Check this. Check inside to be sure. This has got to be his, right? This is his, right? Yes. Oh. Oh, look at this lab. It's so cool. Huh? What is this? That's true. This feels like your research lab. Uh, is it? Okay. It is, right? Well, let's see what's in here. But I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling. Uh, what bad feeling is? This is a cool looking place. Let's see, what can we investigate? We can investigate the two. 
drawers, and that's it. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. Chemical shop. Bottles line the shelves behind the glass door. Are these? That a minute. Looks like poison. I knew it. So you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way that can be normal medicine in the ultimate detective's lab. She opened the cabinet's glass door and peered inside. Hmm. Yeah, I know what some of these are. They're definitely poison. Then... In that in that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone accidentally... What's the point? And if we got rid of them, Mamakuma would just replace them. So it's useless doing that. It would only be a temporary solution. Temporary solution. She wants to make sure no one will reuse them again. By the way... Even so, I'm surprised they have so many in here. They're poison for instantaneous death, as well as ones that can inflict various symptoms. Depending on how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. But... This doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab, but like a criminal's lab. I see. It's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right. There's a fine line between criminal and detective. Okay. And what about this one over here? That looks... Hmm. There's a bunch of files lined up. It looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? I picked a one up at random and th flipped through it. Huh? huh? It contained photographs of murder scenes and the tricks the culprits used. Huh? Okay, what is this? I hurriedly looked through the other's files and found they were all similar. You don't know? It's a file containing all the tricks used for murders. That's... It appears so. Well... Did this incident really happen? No. I can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scene. And all these cases seem feasible. Hmm. Feasible, huh? Then this would make good a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit murder. I'm kidding. Well, I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file that's accessible to everyone. Maki picked up a file at random and started flipping through it. Got a minute? Huh? This file doesn't have any photographs. It's all just drawn illustrations, but... Huh? Illustrations. Maki began pulling the files one after the other off the shelf. Okay. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations? Uh, but why? Um... Are the old ones just fictional? The first few files have only illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? I don't know. Anyway, I've investigated all the places that concern me. Everything here has to do with death. Because? Well, that, that is your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Uh, yeah, okay. I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. Detective, can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. Do you want to die? Why are you so upset all of a sudden? <laughs> you just killed me for that? That's right. Nah, I understand why Maki Roll would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. Okay, do Kaito! With a face as gloomy as that, I can't believe you're my sidekick. Keep your chin Be more proud of yourself, Shuichi. Everything you've done up to now is amazing. Uh, ah, okay. thanks. That's true. That's why you should be careful. Uh. Huh? What do you mean? You don't know? Because of how well you did in the class trials, future culprits have their eyes on you. The next culprit might come after you. Huh? Come after me. Don't worry about hey. it. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. Leave it to me. I'm gonna protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect his sidekicks. I don't understand. What if I end up as a future culprit? Huh? Are you stupid? That's impossible. You. How can you believe in people so easily? I believe in huh? you. Huh? Didn't I tell you before? I believe in people I want to believe in. If they betray me, it just means I made a bad call in believing them. <laughs> of course, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Maki Roll. By the way, why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kokichi? Jeez. I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Uh, Couldn't um... find him. But he still has the motive card key, card key right? Uh... Yeah, he should still have it. There's a chance that Kokichi could have used the card key and gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. Got it. It's the flashback light. Oh, okay. Uh. Ah, you found one. Of course. I'm worried about Kokichi, but I think we should deal with this first. So let's all gather in the dining hall. What? Huh? I'm coming too. Oh. Ah, wait a minute. There are other places I want to check first. Can I meet with you later? 
Huh? Oh yeah? Then I'll go ahead to, to the dining hall. Well... I'm not going to check this place? I believe in you. I'll let Shuichi handle it. You got this, right, Shuichi? Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, right. Huh. Then once you're done, come to the dining hall. Okay. Okay. Ew. You didn't even complain. You seriously are his sidekick now. I can't even argue with that. Alright. Anything last to say before I leave? Ew. I guess you're really taking me to take it. Okay. Alright. Well, let's go and figure out what the other one's for. I assume, I think I know where it is, but first, let's look at, let's, uh, before I look at this door, I'm gonna save, because saving is quite important. Okay, after saving, let's, let's just see what happens when I click on this door. This door certainly matches the atmosphere of this floor. It doesn't look like it will, it will open, so let's we'll have to leave it be for now. Okay. That's what I thought. So, I had a feeling that was Shuichi's lab, I looked at him like, that's his, definitely so. And now we need to go back downstairs. Woo! Downstairs. That was interesting. Huh. Well, now, I think we've. I think that's everybody's lab. I think. Yeah, I think that's every. No, we don't have Kokichi's. We don't have Kokichi's lab open yet. Wonder what his lab is like. What's What's an ultimate supreme leader's lab like? Like, what the heck? Okay, so. Uh, let's see, I think it's out here in the courtyard. I gotta figure out what it is and where it goes. Oh, even less green than the last time. There's still maintenance going on. Is that it? Oh, nope. Hey! So what's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Hmm. Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? Yeah. At the start, Monokuma said there were supposed to be facilities for us. That's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuffed with lies and shit. Well, it's hard to Im it is hard to imagine that they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. I also think Monokuma was lying. He is an exponentially deceitful being. Uh, um... Being. Well, he's he's a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic. Chuichi, have you been robo a robophobe this whole time? No. Oh no, that's not what I meant. But when will we finally learn what this Ultimate Academy really is? Why does it exist? Is it really just a place for us to have the killing game? I don't know, so... Uh, I have to figure out where the heck this thing goes. Uh, is there anything out here? I don't think so. Uh, hello, Gonta. What's up? Hey! Hey, show yourself! Where are you hiding? Come, talk to Gonta! Hmm. Gonta, are you looking for Kukichi? Um... No, not Kukichi. Bugs are... Go to see Tiny Bug. No mistake this time. It definitely fly by Gonta's eyes. Hey, Bugs! Come out again! Gonta just want to talk! Tiny Bugs again. Gonta's been talking about them for a while. I'm sure he's interested as the ultimate entomologist. But the memory of the insect mini greet is still raw. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it can't be over here. Okay, so there's lots of people over here. Now that I've. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Look, I don't know where this blue one goes. I don't understand. She's staring at Tenko's lab. To leave her alone. Hey, Shuichi. What is it, Shuichi? Don't stare at me so much. Or I'll become even more beautiful. Uh, oh, um... I see. Is she embarrassed? That's something she said herself? You. Did it look like I was blushing? Huh? What? You're right. Before, no one could tell that I was blushing, right? Ah, that's right. I remember. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he looked a little embarrassed just now. <laughs> okay, then I'll keep at it. Himiko is really trying to change. Okay. Um. Gonta's over there. Who's over here? Miu and Kibo. 
It sure is quieter now that, that no one's yapping about Atua this and Atua that anymore. I knew that fucking midget was running a goddamn cult. Ah. I mean, if there really was a god. He'd obviously make me, the gorgeous girl genius, his chosen one. <laughs> the kooky fucking bitch. Uh, okay. Kivo, robot son, how are you doing? Hmm. You haven't come across Kukichi at all. I wonder where he could have gone. I knew it. If he's not in the courtyard, is he inside somewhere? Yeah. You're probably right, but apparently Kukichi is quite good at hide and seek. If he's serious about hiding from us, finding him may prove to be quite troublesome. <laughs> troublesome. What is it? Why do you look so surprised? Uh, uh um... no, it's nothing. How about this? Please tell me. You don't need to hesitate. After all, we're friends. Then... Well... I just thought, perhaps a robot could find a human. That's robophobia. Shuichi, you're not trying to hide your robophobia anymore. What? Really? <gasps> anyway, Shuichi. That black object over there looks suspicious, doesn't it? The one with the red border? Huh? Black... Oh, this thing. Oh, this must be where it goes. Okay. It's like, oh, this must be for... Kaito's, I would assume. Maybe. Because we don't have his ultimate research lab either. Or maybe it's Kivo's. Okay. But. Well, alright then. I just came out of nowhere. The building just combines! Ah! What did you do to my lab? It's going in super deep! <laughs> they're both speechless, they're like, uh, okay. Well, uh, I, this is probably Kibo's lab. I'm positive this strange building is an ultimate lab. For the machines in the sci fi feel, I deduce this is Kibo's lab, okay. Alright! I'll check inside. Oh, Kibo's lab, yay! Robot Sun's lab, yay! It's inside, ooh! Oh, this is cool. And really weird. It looks like a maintenance room for a robot. There are machine parts everywhere. I knew it. This is definitely Kibo's lab. <laughs> oh, this is so cool looking, actually. Oh my goodness. Kibo, you have some really cool stuff. You know, I don't know what any of it is, and I can't even look at any of it. So, Miyu, what are your thoughts on this room? This is fucking awesome! Look at all these upgraded parts! All these upgrade parts! <laughs> oh, you look so pretty with this, Kibo! I want to make lots of cute no- Yeah, okay. Please stop! Oh, he's so cute! Look at my robot son! S stop! Don't mention that in front of Shuichi! Is that something to be embarrassed about, Kibo? Kibo. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. Hmm. Who's Kibo? <laughs> Whose lab is this? Huh? Huh? Isn't it yours? No way! I don't want this. I don't like this sort of sci-fi technology. Can we leave now? Is that all right? But I imagine that a lot of things in here would really help you out. You should take a look. No, I don't want to be assisted by sci-fi technology. We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kibo? That's right. Anyway, I prefer a more Japanese theme since I like that food the most. Even though I can only stare at it. So, how could you prefer the food? <laughs> at the very least, I'd like some kimonos in my lab and a porch with wind chimes. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that would be nice. It doesn't seem like Kibo is going to use his, this lab. Well, he's free to do as he pleases. Nothing I can do about that. Hmm. All right, I finished investigating all the items this time. Kaito should be waiting in the dining hall. I should gather everyone there. Okay, let's go. I spoke with everyone and told them to gather at the dining hall. After a time, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. All right, what's, uh, what's gonna happen with this flashback light? Oh boy. Hey, everybody. Alright! Alright, looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. Oh! Oh, what about Kokichi? Oh yeah, Kokichi, we're missing him. Yeah. Forget about him. It's his fault for messing around like that. Hmm. I guess. He must be a real pro at hide and seek. 
With my magic. I magically looked all over the school, but he was nowhere to be found. What? M magically? Hmm. No one can find him, huh? Hey. He must have used the most card key, card key, card key, bleh, to enter a place we're unaware of. Hmm. Do you think that's where the real motive is being kept? Either way, it's worrisome. Huh. <laughs> Next time I see him, I just gotta catch him and ask. Anyway, let's try this flashback light. Actually, but I'm so uneasy about these flashback lights. Are they really okay to use? No. Well, if we don't use them, our memories will never come back, you know. Right. So we've got no choice but to use it. The memory we'll get from this is our only clue. Seriously? I agree with fish sticks over here. What did you say? Who are you calling a chunk of breaded fish? <laughs> For someone who looks like canned tuna, you make some pretty good comebacks. Hey, you. Yeah. Who are you calling a wad of shredded fish? What was that? Wait, Kokichi? Hmm. I knew you'd find us here, but only because it's you. You got me. Thanks for the compliment. So why are we all, why are all my merry friends gathered here? Is that all right? First things first, what did you do with that card key? Ah. Oh, you worried about that? I'll relax. Unfortunately, I couldn't use the card key. Liar, I say he's a liar. Huh? You couldn't use it. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea where to use it, so I just gave him instead. But... You don't seem to be disappointed about not being able to use it. Shit. I am disappointed, damn it. I want to use the card key. Yeah. I smell another fucking lie. Cut it out. Whatever. Talking to him is a waste of time. You know... We've got more important things to do. Ah. Oh, hey, the flashback light. Let me see that. Kaito doesn't have the balls to turn on the switch. Yeah. Of course I do! Egged on by Kukichi, Kaito thumbed the switch hard. Okay. And once again, the world warped. Whoa. Uh huh. I don't see any new words that I can make out. Alright, what do we got this time? The scenes that flew by inside my consciousness. And what it all means. All at once, I remembered. I remembered. Uh. Ah, the meteorites. What happened with the meteorites? I remember. The TV news and the internet talking nonstop about those meteorites. What was that? There was a bunch of damage where I lived. People said it was only a matter of time. Okay. A researcher said that too. Similar meteorite impacts happened millions of years ago. All living organisms on Earth were annihilated. So... There were a bunch of weird groups that started to show up in the streets. As the meteorites got worse, more people started saying it was the end of the world. I'm going to hear that too. Unless someone does something, the world will end. Okay. Th those people were always handing out flyers on street corners. I saw flyers all over the city, too. They said, mankind deserves damnation. What? Mankind deserves damnation. I remember seeing those posters, but... Hold on! And the meteorites. What ended up happening with the meteorites? That's... We haven't seen any since we got here. Maybe they died down. What? What happened to the plant? To that plant? Who wanted to save the world from the meteorites? Could it be? Oh, right. I just remembered that. It was called the Gopher Project, right? It was the plan that all countries of the world came up to save humanity. But... I remember that, too. But the Gopher Project... Didn't it fail? What? Huh? Is that true? That's true. That's what I heard, too. But I can't remember why. What's that so, mean? So, we can't remember anything past that again. Uh, I can't okay. either. I don't remember anything after about the gopher. <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation. Huh? Mew. <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation. Fuck that. The fuck's going on? We're already damned here. Being stuck here with you losers is the worst hell there is. You. The you losers part wasn't necessary. Ah! Shut up, I'm tired of this. Let us out of here. Let us out. Come on, don't leave us in here. Pull us out. Seems like... She seems really upset. 
What happened? Miu, calm down. It's okay. Goto will protect you. In the end, the flashback light didn't help. It didn't connect the, to the other memories. The ultimate hunt that was after us. The joint funeral. The meteorites, the cult organization, the gopher project. How are they all connected? How do they relate to the ultimate academy? And what happened with all those meteorites? Did they just stop? Shuichi! It'll be okay, Shuichi. Just a little more. Huh? Huh? See? We'll probably need one more. Everything will start to connect after we remember one more thing. One more thing. What is Kukichi? But... But I don't think I'd be surprised with the outcome of this situation. Like, if we were all actually dead and this was the afterlife. Huh? The afterlife. Always Why around. you? Quit saying stupid crap like saying stupid crap like that. Uh... It's not stupid. If the, mem if the meteorites can happen, then anything else can happen too. Because? Come on, you're an astronaut, aren't you? Space is full of mysteries that we can't even fathom. That's why, if the meteorites really did fall on us, anything could have happened. A mysterious virus could have spread, or some weird technology. <laughs> or even an unknown substance brought to Earth that could have been time and space. Yeah. That's like science fiction. I thought our theme was magic. Um, that's just your theme, Himiko. Seriously? Come that's on. just stupid. It's like the setting for some third-rate anime or game. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm making this up? But then how would you explain the flashback lights, Exiles, and even Monokuma? We may be used to it now, but that kind of stuff goes against common sense, you know. <laughs> Which means it wouldn't be too far-fetched if any of the things I mentioned actually happened. Shut up! First off, I'm the only one here who gets to talk about space. My bad. Oh, you're right. Sorry, my bad. What did I do? Uh, whatever, just hurry up so I can get out of here. Wait, stop. You shouldn't think like that. How can he get out of here? Everyone seems very tired. We should probably disperse for the time being. <laughs> oh, you finally learned to read the air. Nice job, robot. I'll commit that to I'm my memory bank. I'm learning every day. Hey! Oh, before we go, Gonta put manhole cover back how it was. Cause Gonta gentlemen- If we want to challenge underground again, this time Gonta definitely- You're so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> no one's dumb enough to challenge that dump again. Shut up! Don't look down on hard work. Yeah. Himiko, you've really changed. <sighs> is what I'd like to say, but working hard in an at escaping from there is pointless. Like I thought. Well, no matter how much you've changed, of course you'd think that. We can't keep going like this. We need to find a way out. We need to solve all of these mysteries. After our conversation, we return to our rooms. Huh. It's no use. Damn it. I don't understand. What is going on here? But I can't give up. I need to keep my promise to Kaede. I need to find the truth. Like, what is happening to us? Why we're forced to play this killing game? Anyway, i still got some time today. I can't stay still. Not now. Okay, free time. So, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, did I get all of them? Wait. Did I get all of them? One, two, three, four, five. Holy crap, I didn't know that. Okay, I forgot that I did. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna save, because saving is quite important. Okay, after saving, so we have people we could probably hang out with. Oh boy. Who do we want to hang out with? Let me look at the list of people. Not a lot. <laughs> you know what? I think it's time we start hanging out with Kaito, because... Everybody else has had one chance, except for Himiko. And, uh, yeah, everybody else, or Miyu has too. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go with Kaito. So, where was he again? Uh, he's out there next to, uh, that lab. So, let's head that way. But first, I will want to go and spend my coin- Oh, and chapter four, so now we can go, um, before we hang out with Kaito, I'm probably gonna go play some games. Because now the harder difficulties should be unlocked um, at the casino. And I need to go get more items from the, uh, the machine. <laughs> Words. <laughs> Words are hard. So, I'm going to do that first because that's important. Very. 
How many coins do I have? I'll check before I do this. So let's see what we got going on here. Let's see. Alright, Mana Mana Machine. Let's do it. Yep, okay. Mana Mana Machine. Woohoo! I have 377. Okay. Um, okay. Automated shave ice machine. What's the chance? Mm. Oh! <laughs> Does anyone recognize that face? It's Hajime. Ooh, blanket. Wearable. A chance. Ooh, sugar. Ooh, pure white practice sword. Okay, so after not getting a lot from doing that, um, I'm gonna play some games now at the casino because, uh, apparently, chapter four is when you get the hard difficulties. And I'm just like, Please, I'd love for them to be harder. Especially the racing one, because that's the one I'm best at, so. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the casino! Yeah! Woohoo! Casino time! Okay. Here comes favorite music! Okay, let's see, um, got any new ones? Let's see. White robot mustache. A gentleman mustache that can be stuck on robots. Does not include antenna functions or quake powers, okay? Uh, Book of the Blackened. Uh, I think, uh, Book of Criminal Offenses that contains records of the cruelest, most atrocious murders committed by humans. Many of these cases weren't released to the public. Travel Journal. A thick journal packed with a record records of trips. However, it was actually written using vague knowledge uh, and the rich imagination of someone looking at a world map. Okay. Um, I think these were here before. The teddy bear wasn't. Typical stuffed toy bear that's not black and white. If you love it enough, then it might come to life one day. <laughs> um, those were there. Those were there. Oh, Punnett Banyan tree. A Punnett Banyan tree with spirits living inside. It is said to be good for luck. It grows aerial roots from the middle of its Dancing Haniwa, a ceramic figure of the Japanese from the Japanese Kofu period, and is said to resemble a person dancing very intensely. Okay. Uh, let's see. And that's all the new ones. We still have a few that aren't interesting. All right. Let's go play games. Da -da -da -da. Let's see, is it really true? Yes, I know. Yes! I can finally play this one. Ha! Ah! Oh, okay, well, uh, never mind. Jeez. That's a lot of coins. Uh, come on. Yeah. Come on, down we go. Okay, we're just gonna uh, bet that much I didn't know. Jeez, okay. Um, let's try it out and see what happens. Alright, this is different. This is now in the city, I would assume, of Ultra Despair Girls. It looks like it. Let's see now. Is this... It's not too bad so far. Maybe we're getting into the city? Hello, car. I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yay, more road. Thank goodness. Oh shoot, that's a that's interesting. Okay. You have to pick and choose now. I guess. Which way you want to go? It's not just a. a
Yeah, it's like getting into the city. I guess. I don't want to hit. I want a monodon. He's dead now, so. <laughs> I did not expect one of them to die. I really didn't. Oh, come on! Ugh. When you want the monodom, but cards in your way. Dang it! I want the monodom. Now I can never have the mon. Oh, come on! No! I want to hit it before the time runs out! Yay! Okay. Okay. So that's how hard that one can get. I have to play that a lot later and get more of these coins. Hmm. Let me try that one more time. Alright, what's the score of that turn out to be? B still? I got okay, so I'll definitely have to come back here and play this later, but um I get it, so alright. Let's see. This gets a harder difficulty. Let's try that out. Okay. Not two under. How about that many? Alright, let's try this. Yep. I need a red one. Green. Ah, oh, dang it. I couldn't get that last red one. Yeah, it's still not worth it. That game's still not worth it. <laughs> Okay. It's always gonna be the driving game. I'm not even gonna with the treasure hunter. That's just no. But I will uh, go ahead and test my luck on one of these just just because. Okay. Yes, I would. All right. What do we got? Okay. Try that again. Okay. I always push the wrong button when I want to. Oh. Okay. Wow. 
This seems to be the lucky machine. Bonus game, all right. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, come on. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Dang it. Oh, okay. 